This is Macro View Television, and welcome to a brand new edition of Taiwan Outlook, the program that presents the different faces and lets you hear the different voices on Taiwan. I'm your host, Wu Rei Guo. Have you been to Africa? If you have, what was your impression of the continent? On today's program, we're delighted to have two young people from Taiwan who are devoting their efforts to the promotion of mutual understanding between Africa and Taiwan. And they are to my immediate left. Uh, first is Lu Wei Chen. Wei Chen, welcome to the program. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's an honor to be here. Well, it's a pleasure yeah. to have you on the program. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> my name is Wei Chen. Yes. Uh, I'm a I'm master uh, from uh, NCTU, the National Chotan University. Good. Uh, yes, and I study in uh, mechanical engineering. Good. Yes, but um, after the graduate, graduate, uh, I didn't do like engineer, okay, engineering, engineering work. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, now I'm I'm work in a startup company from Brazil. Uh, okay. It's called uh, Tripda. Okay. T R I P D A Tripda. Uh, okay. It's a carpooling platform. Okay. Yes. Good. All yeah. right. And next to uh, Wei Chen is, of course, Lai Yi. Yu. Yeah. Yu, welcome to the program. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, it's my pleasure to be here and share our uh, experience in Africa. Okay. And uh, both of you, of course, are co-founders of a team of people. Yeah. It's not yet an organization, right? Yeah. Yes. Team of people called Lightning Dark. Yeah. Yes. And uh, let me ask the both of you. You know, one of you majoring in uh, engineering, and what was your majoring in college? Um, actually, I'm a major in anthropology. Anthropology. Okay, yeah. that may have something to do with Africa. Yeah. But why did the two of you ended up doing work that's related to promotion of understanding between Africa and Taiwan? We're going to start off with you, Wei Chen. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, at first, I, I chose Africa because I want to stop, uh, start up my own company. Okay. Uh, but uh, I think, I, I think there are many, many ways, uh, but um, um, unfortunately there, there is a no uh, nice idea for me. Mm -hmm. So I started to traveling, and uh, as I traveling, I, I saw the map in, in the world, mm -hmm. I saw um, Africa. Maybe I go to Africa, okay. I can, I can e inspire some some idea in my mind or okay. discover some uh, opportunity there. Okay. Yes, maybe it will, will change my, my life or thinking. Okay, but Wei Chen, let me ask you, you want to yeah. do you know, a startup company. Yes. What did you want to do your business on? The startup on engineering or startup mm -hmm. on the, some other things? Uh, there's an idea called uh, social enterprise okay. uh, to use the business model to help, help the maybe the local people or, yeah. or help some problem uh, of the society. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my, my direction of, of my company in vision. In vi yeah, yes. originally, okay, yes. all right. And uh, uh, what is your story? Why did you pick, uh, you know, uh, Africa, uh, uh, EU? Yeah, at first, actually, I'm interested in Madagascar. And because um, when I was in university, I studied anthropology mm -hmm. and and especially when uh, we went to different um, indigenous people community in Taiwan. Okay. And so I found that I'm really um, enjoy and really like to explore more about okay. uh, indigenous people, especially um, Austronesian. And maybe you will know that Madagascar, it's, it's also the homeland of Austronesia people. Okay. And so I'm wondering, maybe there's some similarity or connection between uh, mm -hmm. Taiwan's people and Madagascar's people. All right. Yeah. I originally thought that you picked Madagascar because you want to go there to see the penguins. Uh. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, but you know, Wei Chen, you have been to many other countries yes. in Africa. Yes. Uh, you have been to quite a bit, and the uh, EU has only been to Madagascar, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. But why so many different countries in Africa? Mm, in the beginning, my uh, my plan in traveling, yes. uh, I mm -hmm. start, start from Burkina Faso, it's a friendship okay. uh, country from, of course. With, with Taiwan, yeah. yes, of course. And that time, I, I just want to know uh, 
what it is the Burkina Faso like. Okay. Yes, because you were just curious. Yeah, I'm just curious, and then I start some some research. Uh, I found a lot of Ghana. They they very free to vote and and peacefully. They I think it's very interesting mm -hmm. in in Africa countries. Yes. Uh, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, the Ebola uh, happened last year, and that time become serious. Uh, more seriously, and I told my mom and my dad to stay. Oh, of it's, course, it's dangerous. <laughs> yes. mm. uh, please, please come back. I say no. Uh, I will continue my my traveling. Okay. Okay. But I will go to uh, Kenya. Right. Yes, and and that time I contact the uh, uh, Taiwan businessman, uh, businessman in U Uganda. Right. He, yes, okay. and he invites me to Uganda and. Okay, I, I just go to Uganda and go to Rwanda. All right. Yes. So that was the story. Okay. Yes. But let me ask you, you, your parents must also be worried of all the places that you could go. Why did you want to go to Madagascar? You know, it's in Africa. Your parents, I'll, I'll guarantee you, they never been there, right? <laughs> so why did you want to go there? You know, I mean, were they concerned? Why you told your parents that, hey, I want to go to Madagascar? Ah. I think it's just there's no problem with them because really they <laughs> because they travel quite a bit as well. No, because they they understand why I want to study anthropology, and I they they thought I I should go to um, the other part of words and to explore what I want to uh, see. Okay. So when I told them I would go to Madagascar, they thought, "Oh, it's great because okay. <laughs> you're realizing your dream." <laughs> okay, so they were supportive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. How about you, Wei Chen? How, what was the reaction from your parents when they say mm -hmm. that, you know, I mean, when you told them that, um, hey, mom and dad, I want to go to Africa? Yes, I, I told them I have... have Were they shocked? No, 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 <laughs> I, I have a bowl of tickets, so, oh, okay. <laughs> so let me go. And they think it's okay yeah, because uh, the world is so, so big and I should uh, go outside and see what is really happening in the world, okay. and they support me. Let me ask you this. Did the two of you know each other before you went to Africa? Actually, we know each other before we went to Africa. Oh, really? You yeah. Did? Okay. Because um, when we decide to uh, go to Africa, and we search the information about um, Africa mm. countries, and yes. we found it's, it's very difficult to find the information in Taiwan mm -hmm. because there are just a few people willing to uh, go to Africa. So mm -hmm. um, we try to ask and, and try to find um, is there any um, person who also mm -hmm. want to go to Africa? And so uh, we just meet each other okay. and, and we, we thought maybe because if, if we're just one person, um, it's hard to get the resource or it's hard to get more information. But if we are a team, mm -hmm. and it's easier than... Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's why um, we try to... Um, before we went to Africa, we yeah. do lots of things. Like um, we invite some African students in Taiwan okay. and we ask them some questions and even we invite them to give the, um, some speeches to cool. um, the people who are interested in Africa. Right. And yeah, we also ask the um, African embassy in Taiwan okay. and to ask them maybe they have some uh, resources. Let me ask you, the trip yes. to Africa, you to Madagascar and uh, Wei Chen, you to many countries in Africa. Yes. Did the trip help both of you gain a better understanding of Africa, but also in the process help you to visualize what you wanted to do a little better? Did that help you? Yeah. No. yeah. It's, it's very interesting because when we talk about Australasia or indigenous people, mm -hmm. Taiwanese people seldom know about Madagascar. They only know some, maybe the people in Southeast Asia or Pacific mm -hmm. Island. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, it's, it's, um, it's really good for me because um, I can know uh, what's going on in Madagascar, especially they are the famous um, tourist spot. Okay. They develop the uh, ecotourism, yes. and that's, that's the uh, famous issue in Taiwan now. Mm. And so um, after I um, 
um, visit the uh, Madagascar, I found that maybe I can share my experience to more and more people who um, are willing to develop the ecotourism. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how about you, Wei Chen? Yes. Um, after after this, uh, this traveling, um, I I think uh, let's ch change my um, change my mind to okay. because uh, before this traveling, I I just think uh, the the issue or the things uh, in a one way, but um, I saw I saw many. I am so many things in Africa, and I met many people from different countries, and um, I learned from from they, learned from them, and they teach me, uh, not really teach, but uh, I saw something different uh, about their their thinking, the the way they doing. So after that, I I can um, think a different way. Okay. Uh, on a, on a topic or, or issue, mm -hmm. and and also I find really find some opportunity uh, cool. about Africa. So uh, that's why we <laughs> okay. we continue with, um, our organization our, our teamwork. Okay, good. Yes. You know, you say you went to Ghana. Yes. Okay, and I must admit, the you know the most I read about Ghana mm -hmm. is whenever it plays in the World Cup. It has yeah. a very good, you know, football team. Okay, but anyway, I mean, let me ask you: yes. when you first went to Ghana, mm -hmm. what was your impression, and was the impression very different from what you researched on before arriving in Ghana? Please. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, at first, uh, I know Ghana like like yeah. <laughs> they have a very good football program. Yeah, yes. yes. There is a famous football player yes. and uh, football team, and also the Coco, Coco, yeah, oh, and, uh, okay. yes, uh, Coco in Thai, uh, in Ghana, and that's uh, the the imagination in my mind okay. before I went to. Um, but I I saw I saw the people there. Mm -hmm. They they are working hard. Uh, maybe, yeah, I mm -hmm. I met some someone they. They have some some big vision about their their country. Okay. Also their life. Um, take take a uh, take a doctor for example. Um, his name is uh, Kwame. Kwame. Yes, Mr. Okay. Kwame, and uh, he have been Taiwan before. Good. Yes, and okay. uh, he saw the the science park in Shinju, and he saw many many things in. In Taiwan, um, um, including the the hospital, the the bus station, the MRT system, and he think he can uh, do something for Ghana. For Ghana, okay. yes, right. And after he back back to Ghana, he he organization uh, a team called Fifteen Fifteen. Okay. Okay. Fifteen Fifteen is a team of uh, there is a uh, fifteen people, mm -hmm. okay, uh, born in the year of the in Ghana independent. Oh, okay. Okay, right. and so they want to do do some some something good in Ghana, and he, uh, Mr. Kwame, uh, also uh, issue issue the the idea of the science park in the gov Ghana government. Good. And fortunately, this year he he came uh, to Taiwan. Taiwan again, Good. and and to give some advice, uh, some association, and and back to Ta Ghana, continue his work. Okay. Okay. So that's very. I I met many many people like me, Mr. Kwame. Okay. Yes, they they have uh, their their dream to do their own business. Even he. Was a, he's just a student, or or he just a, a man living in countryside. He okay. want to uh, learn more about mm -hmm. the history of uh, about Africa and share the information, okay. which uh, more people know the Africa yeah. is. All right. Yes. And so this is something very different yes. than what you originally expected. Yes, because um, something was say. Uh, Africa is poor yeah. or, or backward. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. backward and. And something 
someone will, will say oh, because they are lazy, yeah. because they do doing nothing in Africa, so so they that's that, that's make make Africa is. But in in my traveling I saw many people, not mm -hmm. not only Ghana but mm -hmm. also other countries. Then no. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, EU, we know you went to Madagascar, yeah. and not just for penguins. Okay? <laughs> but let me ask you, you know, when you were there, of course, you know, you can tell us more mm -hmm. about your experience there. Yeah. But you were also, un you know, unexpectedly able to find a Taipei, you know, Taipei, oh. you know, Gaozhong, you know, a senior high school uniform yeah. Yeah. in a secondhand shop. Yeah. Can you also tell us the story? Behind the Taipei uniform, it's it's very interesting because I, I as you mentioned, I never um, expect that when I went to the secondhand um, mm. shop, and I found that oh, there's a uniform from Taiwan. It's yes. it's from the uh, Taipei uh, Senior High School, and there's also the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the person um, who wore it. Yeah. Yes. So mm. I trust. Um, I I ask the staff and I, 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 I tell them, hey, you, you know, it's this uniform is from Taiwan. Yeah. Um, and they're very cute because when they um, realize, oh, it's, it's this the donation from Taiwan, and I teach them how to read, how to read the name. Okay. And they ask me, so uh, where is he, and is he... Um, and how well yeah <laughs> and was, I was very shocked because um, sometimes when we go to mm -hmm. when we go to the board it's hard to mm. um, make more connection or um, to make friends with the local people mm -hmm. and because this um, connection so yeah. we can start our um, conversation and um, yeah to be a good friends and I think that experience is, is really new and really unexpected for me okay yeah but let me ask you how's the people in Madagascar because this is something uh, you know, a place that emphasize a lot on the protection of the environment mm -mm. well how's the local culture local people what's Actually, their view about the world mm -mm. Actually, Madagascar it's it's a uh, um, biodiversity place, oh, okay. and even the people, the Madagascar people, like um, we were called that uh, Malagasy people. Okay. Uh, the Malagasy people live in Madagascar for um, maybe two thousand years. Mm -hmm. But when you ask them, they will say, "Oh, we are the migrant from Indonesia." Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see that even they like, um, live in Madagascar for. A long time, mm -hmm. but they they still care about their um, ancestor, and it's really in it's really um, influence their value or influence their culture. So that's uh, what I'm interested in because you can see um, one part is that um, they're caring about their um, ancestor, but one part is that they try to um, adapt their um, um, uh, environment. And yeah. so their culture is, is really, really amazing. <laughs> okay. And uh, Wei Chen, let me ask you then, yes. you know, let's talk about your experiences in Rwanda. Yes. Okay. And when people you know, talk about Rwanda, unless you mm -hmm. have been there yourself, mm -hmm. but often the name the country Rwanda will come up. Yes. It's in Hollywood movies. Yes. You know, and Hotel when Rwanda. they talk about, yeah talk about civil wars, Yes. Uh, talk about bloody you know, suppression yes. of the local people. Yes. So uh, what was on your mind before you went to Rwanda? Also, I, I also saw the movie Hotel yes. Rwanda. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, it's talking about genocide, a sad story there. And oh, I say, well, why is it pity, pity yes. countries? Mm -hmm. and, uh, but as I I'm, uh, I I was in uh, Uganda, I searched some some information about okay. Rwanda. Yes, and um, I saw the the, the news say oh, that Rwanda is the uh, first country uh, to stop use the plastic bag. Really, in the, the first world. country in the world. Yeah, the first country. That is huh? very impressive. Yeah, very also very surprising. Yeah, yeah. but because you would not expect. Mm -hmm. An African country to be the first. Yes, um, but but that time I I mm -hmm. <laughs> I d doubt uh, about it because okay. it's an African country. Maybe yeah. it's, 
it's just say it and do nothing, right? Okay. Um, but uh, as I cross the, the border mm -hmm. uh, from, from Uganda to Rwanda, uh, the security guy uh, check my, my bag yeah, yes. and, and say, say, okay, uh, let me check inside. I mean, I, it's a normal, normal yeah. thing in, in okay. Africa, so I say, go ahead. Okay. And he take everything, everything out, everything out with okay. the plastic bag, and uh, uh, he he just put the plastic bag um, in in you know, I'd like a small mouth and okay. say, this thing, not to allow to tag to my country, so, no. No, next time. Okay. So I was like, oh, wow. Uh -huh. You were surprised. Oh, it, yeah, yes. it's a surprise. Like, they are serious right, mm -hmm. to, to, be this, this, to do this thing. And as I, I travel in Rwanda, I, I ask everyone why you don't use, use the plastic bag. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, not makes sense because I, I'm in Taiwan. I, every okay. day I use the plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they, they told me. Why should you use that? Okay. It it can be disappeared if you 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 burn in or or you, you just bury it. Yeah, yes. you just oh, mm -hmm. or you 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 drop it out. You it were were messy in yes. in your city. Okay. So why you why do you use, use it? that? Yes. Huh? What what do the locals use? Do they use cloth or do they use paper? Paper bag. Paper bags. Yes. Okay. Did you did you find the people? to be very environmentally conscientious about, you know, protection. Mm -hmm. And then the, they really, you know, do believe, the general public really believe that the plastic bags are environmental hazard. Yes, um, as my, my observation is, yes, yeah, it's true. Okay. And, and also they, they uh, ban the, the smoking in the public. Okay. Yes. In and public places. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. That is it's surprising. Like, yeah. It's like Singapore. In yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Very strict. Yeah. Very yes. strict. How about the experience in Madagascar? Similar? Anything that you know you felt the locals did was somewhat of a surprise to you? Uh, anything? Like for example, do they ban smoking? Uh, no. no. <laughs> and they also <laughs> use plastic bags. Oh, okay. All right. But, but overall, uh, I would imagine the people in you know, both places are still very much concerned about the environment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You talk about ecotourism, uh, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. talk about ban of you know, plastic bags. Yeah. That's certainly something that we can't even do you know, or do very well in Taiwan without mm -hmm. taking place in Africa. Yeah, so yeah. something new for everybody to learn every day. All right, uh, Wei Chen, we were talking about your experiences in Rwanda. Okay. And then we were also talking about the ban on plastic bags, but also mm. because Rwanda has been in civil war so mm -hmm. many years. Yes. You know, one faction of the population fighting the other, mm -hmm. one dictator against the other. Yes. And uh, there is a so-called the ongoing issue of transitional justice mm -hmm. in Rwanda. Yes. Can you share with us what your understanding mm -hmm. of what transitional justice is, please. Okay. Um, as everybody knows, uh, the genocide in Rwanda has happened in 1994. Yeah. Mm. Um, yes, now it's a, it's a sad story, mm -hmm. but, but Rwanda government solved this problem uh, through uh, the traditional way uh, from their village. Okay. Rules. Um, they were okay. Maybe well, take a sample. Maybe EU EU yeah. is uh, make make a stake. He, he kill kill people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of us uh, in the same village. Well, well, uh, together to uh, put him on trial. No, so no, to no, speak. no, no, no. Uh, give give EU a chance to confession. Okay. Is uh, every, everybody push you, or or you do do your yourself as well? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, and that that this system uh used in after uh, after the genocide in Rwanda okay. and put uh, uh let the people to uh give it a chance 
for the grammar, and、uh, they can think of、uh, many ways to solve this problem, to forgive、uh, the. This story or this this guy thing, the bad thing. Okay. So,、uh, for now, yes, they they have some some trick in the, in their mind, but、okay. but they can live together and try to live in a harmony. In a harmony. Yeah, okay. In, so, the Rwanda now is、mm. a very very peaceful. Peaceful. Okay. Yes,、Good. and it's a <laughs> old、mm. country. Yeah, I, yeah. I dare to to hand out my camera, the big camera, in the night. Really? Yeah, to、okay. walk around and、yes. and. So listen. compared to other places, it's safe. Yes. yes. Okay. Good. All、um, right. Next, I'm going to ask both of you.、Uh, mm -hmm. Start off with EU,、mm. but both of you about food.、Mm -hmm. Okay. I will imagine that I've never been to Africa other、mm -hmm. than South Africa. A lot of people don't consider that as the <laughs>、uh, traditional Africa. But anyway, you know, I mean, I would imagine many parts, especially the countries that the two of you have been to,、mm -hmm. uh, really have different kinds of food. Okay, very different from what we eat in Taiwan. And you were in Africa for eighty-five, you know, days. Yes. And then you were in Africa for forty-five days. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, Madagascar.、Mm -hmm. But you know, those are very long, you know, periods of time. You know they are not. You know the time that you can survive, just on instant noodle alone, <laughs> right? So let me ask you: How do you resolve the food issue when you're in Africa? Starting with you, Yu. Okay, actually, it's it's not a problem for me, because as I mentioned,、uh, Madagascar,、uh, Malagasy people, they say they are the migrant from Indonesia,、okay. and when they From when they were from Indonesia to Madagascar, they also、mm -hmm. bring the rice. Okay. So you can see on this island they grow lots of rice. So、mm -hmm. it's like maybe it's like our、um, parents' generation they eat、uh, rice for three meals,、okay. and also they will eat、um, sweet potato. And so during my stay in in Madagascar. I always eat maybe rice with pork, rice with beef, rice of, with chicken. So, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's very interesting that they're also、um, influenced by、um, Chinese people because when I went to the restaurant and I saw the menu and there's a dish is called、uh, tea pan. Um, I was I was very curious about this because I don't know what's what's. Tea pan, so I ordered it, and when they send this tea pan to <laughs> to my to table, yeah,、yes. and and I felt very surprising because it's it's just like、um, the、uh, tea pan mian in our、oh, in、okay. night market in Taiwan, <laughs> and、okay. it's it's really the same even the test.、Oh, okay. So that's why I think I I th I say it's not a problem for me、oh, <laughs> to、okay. live in Madagascar. <laughs> okay, but the, before you went, did you buy some instant noodle with you? No, no, you didn't. Yeah,、right. and、mm -hmm. your parents were not concerned that you're not going to be well fed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> did they give you some、uh, bread or cookies to bring along as snacks? Maybe no, you didn't.、Okay. Yeah, because I I want to try what the local people eat. Okay,、yeah. all right.、Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Wei Chen, the、okay. same question.、Yes. You were there much longer, almost three months. <laughs> yes, and then you still look pretty、uh, healthy. Yes, I mean, how did you survive? <laughs> It's it's not not a difficult way.、Oh, really? Like, yeah, I I eat with、uh, local people, um, like in in the Burkina Faso. Oh,、uh, okay. You, you can find a couscous. It's a very, oh really? Yeah, you can find couscous. Okay.、Uh, with, with and and <laughs> even、okay. better than the French couscous.、Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yeah, because they uh eat couscous with with uh with the.、Uh, A goat or, or chicken or、okay. beef, yes.、Oh, really? And in, are you okay with those meat? I mean, like、yeah. you know, lamb and things. You okay with it? Yeah,、okay. yeah, yeah.、Right. And and、mm. like in Ghana, uh,、mm -hmm. there, uh, there, there is a, a food called fufu.、Yeah. Oh, fufu, fufu. What's fufu? Fufu, fufu. <laughs> <Okay> <laughs> fufu is um like a wow.、Well, It's like a mochi. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah,、uh, but but it's a bigger.、Oh, okay,、right. it's a soft soft ah、uh, things ah、uh, make from the cassava. Okay, and and a yam, yes, and and the way they they doing like we we 
Power there was a power dead, yeah. yes, and Good. and uh, it, in a bowl and mm -hmm. with uh, soup and and the meat, maybe the uh, beef or, or the whole fish. Okay. Okay, and you use the hand, uh, drop the fufu, okay. drop the meat, and eat it. It's very. The experience amazing. was new, I would imagine. I mean, you never try it that way, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <Not good. laughs> okay. Yes, so, and. And you know, East Africa, like Kenya, Uganda, they, okay. they will eat. Uh, they will, will eat banana, banana as the, the food, oh, not okay. not the fruit. The fruit. Okay. Yes. All right. The food. All right. Uh, Evie, you also had a very unusual experience in Madagascar. Is when you brought some balloons to young children. Yeah. They were not very happy mm. because you know, almost maybe almost everywhere. Around the world, children will love balloons. Yeah. But why not the experience in Madagascar? And actually, this, this story it's in uh, when I went to the village called Zavi Mandir, uh, okay. Zavi Maniri, okay. and it's the um, World Cultural Heritage Site. Okay. And it's famous for the wood carving and their traditional wood um, buildings. Mm -hmm. And um, when I went there, and I, I'm thinking that because they're Really, lots of tourists go and uh, went there, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be the normal tourist. Okay. So I'm just thinking maybe I can do some different. something different. Yes. Um. So they were no, I'm mm -hmm. I'm not the normal tourist. Okay. All right. <laughs> so so I buy yeah I bought some balloons and I, um during the staying in this village I I try to play with them I try to ask uh, local people the culture or the story there mm -hmm. um, and I also give the um give the children um these balloons. Okay. Um, but I found that it's 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 really not in, enough for all the children because yeah they're really too <laughs> too many <laughs> too many <laughs> children. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was very surprising because uh, you can find that the children who didn't get the balloon they okay. were angry. Of course. And um, also, the um, children who get the balloon also angry. I, I, it's it's very weird yeah. because they Why thought is it? they yeah. thought um, they're maybe I think maybe they um, they thought uh, what what foreigner give them it's um, they take it for granted. So they thought, oh, you're, you you give us not enough. And so they were angry, so they used the balloon and threw um, my balloon. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? and they say, go down our village. And I, I was very... That wasn't very nice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was very surprising because I, I, were, I know that and it's the tourism influence this um, village, but it's not all their fault, also oh, the right. tourists. Yeah. yeah, you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, of yeah, course. Yeah. Wait, and finally, yeah. I want to ask you. Okay. You apparently went to a witch village in mm -hmm. Ghana. Yes. Were they really witches? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> yeah. But why do they name it witch village? Uh, because uh, in the traditional. Okay. okay uh, if they there, uh, the Ghan local people think, if there there is a bad bad thing okay. happen in, in our village, there much have uh, a witches. Okay. Okay. So uh, let if there there really happen some bad thing, they will pick up uh, a woman. Okay. Random random pick up mm -hmm. and they, he he will take uh take uh from to the to the chief and. And will will do something to mm -hmm. to decide she is a witch is or not. Oh really? Yes. Uh, if if she, the decide uh, decision is uh, she is a witch, she will out of this oh, really? village. Yes. Okay. Kick her out. Yeah, kick okay. her out, and she, she will, will know where to go. Okay. Okay, and uh, there is a king. There is a king. Okay. Uh, in, in Ghana. the village. In, uh, uh, in, in Ghana. In Ghana. All right. Uh, so, so this this situation. Uh, so they they organize our, our area mm -hmm. uh, and pick up a village. Okay. Say, uh, this is a witch village. So, any witches, okay. uh, if you kick up 
kick out your your village, you can go here. Oh, okay. will, they will do something, disappear okay. your magic. You know, okay. like and you went to that village mm -hmm. when you're in Ghana. Yeah. Did you see any witch? Yes, many <laughs> women there. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. But were you there alone, or did you have some local friends with you? Uh, no, I, I just go, go there alone. alone. Yes. Okay. All right. I arrived at the village. Yeah. I, I saw the, they say they, they are, the, the local people will say they, they are the witches. But, oh, really? Yeah, but... But mm. you don't see anything weird, like, you know, doing any magic no, tricks and things? No, and All right. Um, after the, after the vis visiting the village, um, a doctor, uh, unfortunately there is a doctor who okay. can, can speak uh, English. Good, <laughs> all right. Okay, and uh, he explained uh, the, the history about the village and the Good. situation now. And, right. and they say, uh, actually they, they, are, they are normal women. Yeah. Okay. They just want a uh, normal mo woman, and so you can if you uh, mm -hmm. search some uh, which camp on Google, you you will see many many news. Uh, say uh, this woman are very pity, and uh, the life is uh, struggling. Uh, but okay. I don't know if I I can say that. Because okay. I, I saw the, the life in you know, a witch camp is okay. exchange. Okay. Yes, they do their own business, they right. live uh, their own way because they, mm. they, uh, there is um, many NGO, uh, um, including a Red Cross, uh, yes, and to help them. Right. So uh, the doctor told me there are many, many village in Africa. Okay. You, um, yes, in, in Africa, in Ghana, there is a village and the situation is like okay. the witch camp, but witch camp is very lucky because the, the news media will, will report them, but mm -hmm. how about the other vi village? villages? Yeah, okay. we should take, take care about everything. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. And uh, having the both of you on the program today, I can certainly say that you speak English very well, uh, <laughs> in addition to Chinese Mandarin, of course. But we know that, you know, Wei Chen, mm -hmm. you have a very special view mm -hmm. about language, especially after you're traveling so extensively in Africa. You mm -hmm. know, what is your view on language? And, uh, you know, share yeah. with us. I will say, uh, like, that's the way the language situation, like Taiwan, we, mm -hmm. we speak uh, Mandarin, yes. uh, also speak uh, Taiwanese, Taiwanese uh, yes. Hakka, yes. And there is many, many, many languages in Taiwan, also yeah. in an African country. I, I, I saw it, it's not, not different, okay. Uh, but as I, when I'm traveling, uh, I, will, I will try to learn the local language. Of course. Yes, well, mm -hmm. uh, from, from, the, from the local people. Uh, so, the language <laughs> teacher will will, uh, will be the, the maybe a taxi driver or, or the, the the guy I just walk walk by mm -hmm. or the the woman the old woman stay mm -hmm. uh, stand beside me. Yes, I I learn the language from from them. Okay. So uh, it's a, it's a very very interesting thing. Uh, in Rwanda, as I I meet the people, I I will say. Uh, Kia Rwanda, uh, Kia Rwanda. is a local language in Rwanda, and I I can say Swahili is also used in in Rwanda, and I say French, I say English Good. to say hi to uh, with the people mm -hmm. because I I don't know <laughs> which mm -hmm. language he, he can yeah. hear speak spoke okay. yeah. Right. yeah. And let me ask the both of you, after being in Africa for you know for these you know so many days. What is your view about what can we do to try to break down the language barriers? Okay, mm -hmm. like you said, maybe you know, when you're traveling in Africa, you don't know which language that mm -hmm. the locals really speak. Mm -hmm. So, you know, based on the experience in Africa, how can we then try to break the language barrier? Mm -hmm. Actually, I think yeah. that even you cannot understand 
on English or French or mm -hmm. their local language. The body language is it's really yeah, useful. That would be yes. helpful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how about you, Wichun? Mm. How can we break it down? If you don't use your body language or you, you don't want to learn a <coughs> new language from okay. them, uh, just, just make friends okay. who can speak uh, English <laughs> okay. or, or Mandarin okay. uh, in Africa. Right. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's an it's a African people there okay. because they are uh, uh, thankful for China or Taiwan. Yes. Uh, there is many, many Africans to learn. Uh, Mandarin the, Chinese. Yeah, Mandarin Chinese. And okay. because the business, Mm -hmm. Business thing, they they will learn some some uh, the English. They they were doing very well. Just okay. make friends with them. Okay. And, yeah. All right. And also, you know, like you said, the body language. Huh. You know, for example, a handshake, yeah. a yes. smile. Yeah. You know, those are universal. People mm -hmm. will always understand without saying a word. All right. But I can see from the two of you, you know, certainly to, to the you know the trip to Africa was very important in your life so far, yeah, okay? Yeah. Let me ask you this then, how has the trip to Africa for you, Wei Chen, 85 days, mm -hmm. for EU, about 45 days, how has the trip to Africa changed the two of you? I'm gonna start off with uh, EU. Mm, I think the most important thing is that I feel that <laughs> I feel more um, confident. Okay. Yeah, because um, before this trip, um, although I know what I'm interested in, okay. but um, I don't know um, what to do in the future. Okay. Um, but after after this trip, I found that um, it's it's um, I feel more um, confident what what I am doing okay. um, about um, anthropology or okay. um, I want to promote. Um, these things, or um, that people know more about um, the culture or the society there, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's the most um, important part of me. <laughs> okay, uh, and Wei Chen, how about you? Uh, you are a little uh, younger than you. No, right? no, I'm <laughs> younger. <laughs> you're younger. I'm sorry. Okay, but both of you are very young still. Okay, uh, Wei Chen. I yeah. mean, how has the trip to Africa changed you? You've mm -hmm. been to so many different countries. What, six or seven countries in uh, Africa? Five, five, five countries. countries. Okay, yes. all right. Um, I will say the personality okay. uh, of me because um, I'm uh, like usually good guy. Okay. <laughs> all right. uh, as well, and um, I will follow up our, our opinion before. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, and, uh, but but in this trip, I, I learned, uh, I find that right, there, there's a uh, personality I didn't find before okay. yes, in my life. And after that, I, I can, I become more com confident uh, okay. because I, I saw the, the right, the right for, for me okay. uh, have to shut out for me. Okay. Yes, I have stand out for myself. There, there's no, no one can help me if okay. I didn't say anything. If I just fo follow our, mm -hmm. our thinking, our opinion, our, our mm -hmm. uh, yes, I'm, it's, it's not, not very interesting. No, of course not. Yeah, so, right. no, I, I changed that and, okay. yeah, I was, <laughs> it's a really, really big change for me. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure that both of your parents, can see that in both of you, you know, mm -hmm. the trip to Africa was very, very meaningful and helpful in terms of your maturation process. Yeah. And let me ask the two of you, you guys met before you went to Africa, mm -hmm. but upon return, of course, you met again, mm -hmm. and then you started coming out with some notions or concepts about how to organize a team, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that can yeah. really promote, you know, Africa and improve the mutual understanding between Africa and Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the plans that you have for lining DART yes. in the future? You know, mm -hmm. For example, do you want to you know, uh, you know, develop the organization into mm -hmm. an NGO? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to develop into, for example, a profit for purpose mm -hmm. organization? 
uh, mm -hmm. or do you want to you know just continue uh, promote mm -hmm. you know, the kinds of ideas and experiences that you have experienced you know accumulated mm -hmm. in Africa? Mm -hmm. Please, Yu, maybe start off with you. Okay. Um, I think um, maybe that's why we call it lighter in dark. Yes. Because <laughs> when we went to um, Africa, we thought uh, there are lots of uh, issues or okay. lots of chances in Africa. Um, but in Taiwan, there's only a few people okay. uh, know about it. And so um, that's our slogan, lighter in dark, um, realizing Taiwan from Africa, because Good. we thought um, people will say um, our generation should mm -hmm. um, know more about and um, should have the international perspective. Yes. But mm -hmm. the international perspective only including maybe the US or the China, Europe or even Korea. Mm -hmm. But the de developing country, we're, yeah, we're still then focusing on these kind of countries. Okay. But Good. when we went to um, Africa, Africa, we thought mm -hmm. um, it's, it's um, um, it's still very important because, like, um, like in Madagascar, I, um, they they developed the ecotourism for many years, mm -hmm. and maybe we can try, um, maybe we can try to learn what they did. Okay. Um, maybe it's they're successful or not, but okay. it's it's still the experience. Okay, good. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. which I think you have about thirty seconds. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> tell us, you know, what do you want to do next with Lightning Dark? Okay, um, now uh, now we we are writing an article and on okay. on the Facebook right. on the face page, uh, but uh, we will launch uh, the website. Yes. Good. Yeah, and we will call the website mm -hmm. too. Wow, Africa. Okay. Right. Yes, and Wonderful. we also will hold some events, sharing event mm -hmm. exhibition uh, okay. this year. So uh, okay, keep us informed. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Right, let us know. Uh, and the two of you are planning on going back to Africa yeah. anytime soon yeah. this year. Oh, uh, this year I plan back to <laughs> Ethiopia and oh, Mozambique. Oh, okay. uh, this when, year. When do you take off? Uh, later on in the summer. Mm, yes. Oh, okay, good. How about you? <laughs> Maybe hey. next year. <laughs> oh, next year, okay, good. Certainly being a pleasure to have both of you on the program today. I want to wish you, both of you, and also the Lining Dark organization, all the best in the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you for watching our program today. I'll see you next time on Macroview Television. Thank you.